Hangover. Lauren Janning with the Carroll Tigers joining us down here at the state track meet. Lauren just finishing up two events within literally about 15 minutes of each other it seemed like. Lauren, let's start off with that discus. You did that a little while ago. Uh, ended up winning your flight and then finishing third overall. How did you feel today? I, it felt awesome today. You know, like going in, my plan was to do um, just power the, my prelims and then spin my um, three final throws, but I ended up throwing 10 feet further than I've ever thrown just doing my power, so we were going to give it a whirl again and I wanted to beat the school record but I was about four feet off so but I'll get it sometime ne next year. How much discussion was there then after you did your warm-ups and you threw so well without the spin was there a lot of discussion do I don't I use it? No not I mean not really you know I, I always personally just want to do the power because it always works better for me and I'm not confident at all with the spin and so Brown kind of talked to my dad because he he wants to see me spin you know but she came over to me and was like I think we're going to stay with the power and I was perfectly fine with that I wasn't going to fight it. Take us through that first uh, your flight uh, uh, you were in the second flight. How did your throws go? Which one felt best for you? Um, my first throw was like 132, and so I was really confident after that because that was, like I said, 10 feet further. My second throw wasn't very good, and then the third one again was 132. And so um, after that, I was I was in first place going into the finals, so I was pretty excited. What was the goal then going into finals? What was your strategy? I really just wanted to stay up and like um, be accurate again at the 130 and just stay consistent. But um, I was also aiming for like 130 or 136, which is the school record, and then 140. But I ended up just staying right around the 132, so that was okay. A couple of scratches uh, yes. in that. Was that because you were going for that record? Did you just kind of overextend a little? I think so. I think I was just kind of thinking too much. You know, the very first throw, I just get in there and I throw it. And then those last ones, I was thinking too hard, just trying too hard to um, really like muscle it out there, I think. And so it didn't, it didn't work very well. And I knew it was bad, so I just scratched it myself. What what are you going to take away from the discus this year? You know, next year I just I really have to work and I want to do the spin. You know, Brown knows I can do what my parents do and so if I can perfect that and get a little better, I'm hopeful I'm hoping to get the school record. So Well, we wish you the best of Thank luck you. with that. We now we got to talk to you about the 100. <laughs> Literally, you walked over here and had to kind of start stretching and getting ready. Mentally, how did you get yourself ready to be able to do these two events so close together today? You know, I, I really didn't think about it. After doing discus, I just focused on that and I didn't I didn't worry about the time one bit and then once I got done throwing, I was like, you know, I Asked what time it was and then I just kind of walked over here and I was pretty much warm I had to do a couple sprints so I was I was perfectly fine I wasn't nervous at all either so. how'd you feel coming out of the blocks um, it, it was a little different because I felt like usually I'm back a little further and I don't really push myself up but I felt a little tighter with my legs and I didn't really I didn't I mean I felt like I was going down but it didn't feel as strong you know but it was better than um, I have been in my other starts and my other meets what was the best part of the 100 for you where did you feel your best um, you know, I really didn't have, I didn't feel like I had a strength at all. I was pretty good though. The first 50, I was, um, saw myself ahead of quite a few of the girls, but like I said, I always lose it at the end. I need to really work on that. You said you were telling me kind of off the interview here that the 100's been a struggle for you yeah. this year. What do you think has been the cause of that? You know, I really have no idea. We haven't worked. I mean, usually at practice, we run 150s and 250s. We never run a straight 100. And so I have never just ran the 100 as like just at practice. And I think with that, and also I've really been focusing on throwing and I just I just haven't had much time to really focus on um, um, running and so I think really getting in the weight room and going to power this summer so I'm hoping it'll help me next year. Well Lauren I appreciate you joining us here today. Congratulations thank you, thank you. on a couple of great events. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thanks.